Hi, I'm Alan Kaplan. I'm here at the Canstow factory where Canstow made this wonderful trombone for me a couple of years ago. This is what a, a 1570 547 bore with F attachment with a Thayer valve. And what's lovely about this is we finished it called brushed lacquer. We use a wire brush to brush all of it and then just lacquer over it. So it's got a beautiful finish which stands out. And this is an instrument that I have to say the studios have become much more large bore oriented for what we play. I would say probably 90% of my studio work now is done with this large bore instrument. I still use my 1602B for many of my commercial jobs, jazz, theater, anything, you know, of, of a commercial nature and cartoons, but I have to say 90% of the times in the studio I'm playing this horn. And what's, what's special about this one is that this is convertible. This has a removable F attachment section and we have this neck brace, that neck piece that we can ch change over to play it without the valve section. And I would say for me it's about 50-50. Half the time I use it like this, and the other half I take the valve off and I use this. I'll, I'll show that. And anyway, that to me gives you everything you need. I, I can uh, I can go from different situations with the, with the one instrument. It's very easy to keep them both in a single case, and it's, it's a wonderful instrument. The Thayer valves and, out, and the open wrap enables it to be very, very open throughout the, the trigger range. <laughs> Even though we don't use this instrument as a bass trombone, when we do have to play those notes, you want to have an instrument that's good and free. You can hear there's very little change between the sound of the, the F with the valve and the F without. So it's a really free blowing instrument. That's extremely even. It's very hard to get an instrument where those notes sound exactly the same, whether it's in the extended open or with the valve. So this is, this is a wonderful trombone. And what I'd like to do now is show you what it takes to switch it over from one to the other, because sometimes I'm in the middle of a job and I realize, uh-oh, I don't have the valve section on, I need it, or the other way. So first we take off this, and let's see if I can do this without dropping anything. That would be, that would be a great <laughs> challenge. The other thing that we do is unscrew these, these, these turn uh, set screws and now allow the horn to be good and stable when we play with the valve. You don't have to have it, but I think it's a good idea. Also eliminates a little unnecessary vibration that might happen when you have it on. So we would do that. Okay. Set that down. And then we remove the bell. We have these two connections right here. Right. So we will set that down. We will remove this. Okay. So far, so good, right? <laughs> <laughs> no accident yet. A lot of my friends know I'm prone to accidents. But so far, so good. And then I think I like—I generally like to have it on a trombone stand so it can be stable. But we'll do it like this. I'm taking a knee if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, that one's on. Okay. Okay. Slide back in. So, all right, 
and now we have a, a straight tenor without the epidatural. All right, it is a little more open than the horn with the tr with the trigger, and that's a lot of times why I do take off the valve section because I do want that that openness. play soft. The horn is so responsive. That's what, what Cancel has done for me, is made horns that are so responsive. They can take the volume when I have to really push, but they also, you, you can just whisper. I know that if I have to make a very soft entrance, which I gotta tell you in the studios, we're doing that all the time. We have to just come in. They don't want to hear attack, they want it transparent. And that's what this instrument allows me to do, with or without the F attachment and also my 1602B. We can just feather our entrances and then we can crank on it. It doesn't break up. It holds the, the center and it also projects. That's the other thing you want of an instrument like this. When I am playing in an orchestra situation or in the studio, the reason we're using bigger horns is even though we may have microphones in front of us, they're generally recording with what they call a tree of microphones over the conductor's head. And that's what's getting most of what you hear. So with a smaller instrument, it tends to get a little too bright and edgy. So we're using bigger and bigger trombones for recording in the studio. And that's why this is the kind of sound that you need. So anyway, this is, this is a wonderful instrument. And uh, it's called the 1570. And it's convertible. We're, for the convertible model, it's the 1570B. So I asked for that. And this is the brushed lacquer finish. And I assume it can be available in all the different bell materials that Canstow offers. Bronze, gold brass, and uh, yellow brass, which this is. And I, I prefer this yellow brass because I feel it's the most responsive. Okay.